If you need to create a Facebook business page, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to do it while sharing my screen. And it's actually faster and easier than most people think. So I'm excited, let's jump into it. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed entrepreneurs streamline their social media strategy to attract and convert more leads, get more revenue, and more sales in their business with less work. That sounds like something you'd like in your business, and wouldn't we all, right? Take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with a boy wizard. And in this video, we're gonna walk through how to create a Facebook business page from scratch. It's actually a lot faster and easier than most people think. However, if you are an overthinker like I am, sometimes it can take a little longer. I encourage you to get your page up and then worry about tweaking it and making it better. As we go through this, you should know Facebook changes things in different regions and tests things all the time. So it may not look exactly uh, like it does on my screen on your computer screen. Hopefully it's close enough and we can help you get this page up right away. So I'm starting off here on facebook.com in a browser. I'm using Google Chrome, but yours should look the same in any browser. And I'm gonna click this menu here at the top, which is the, the nine little circles in the big circle. I don't know how better to describe that. And within this, it says create, and I'm gonna go down to page, and I'm gonna click on that. This opens the page creation interface. Now, I love the way that they've done this because it wasn't always this way. You actually kind of get to see the way your page is gonna look as you're putting in the information. So the first thing you have to do is put in your page name. So this is usually gonna be the name of your business or your brand, um, you know, your organization, whatever it is. What somebody would search for if they were trying to find you on Facebook by your company, not by your industry, let's say. So for example, let's make up a fake brand called Corey's Career Coaching. I love the alliteration. Next, you're gonna choose your category. And the way you do this is you start typing in things that are related to your industry or your niche, and then Facebook will make suggestions. So for example, I might start with coaching and I see personal coach come up. Yeah, that's what we do is personal career coaching. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now you can add a couple more if you want. So maybe I will tr try typing in business. Uh, any of these apply? Yeah, business consultants for sure. Um, so you wanna basically go through and find up to three that make sense, but you want the first one to be the most important one. Because if we look over here on the page, you can see it'll actually, that'll be the main one that's listed. So it says page and then personal coach. And so that's where uh, if you got these in the wrong order, you can't really drag and drop them to rearrange them. Just close out of them and then type in the ones, uh, the one you want in the order that you want, and then you should be fine. Next is to add a little bio and it's gonna appear right here at the top of the page. So I just put in, we help ambitious professionals get promoted faster and earn more money. You can see where that appears on the page there. So now I'm gonna hit create page and that's this blue button down here at the bottom. It's cut off a little bit of my screen, but this is, um, I, people get nervous here like, oh, I don't want my page up. This is not like launching um, a website. The odds of anyone coming across your page before it's fully done, because if we look at it right now, right, it's all this gray space, there's no photos. Um, the odds of somebody finding your page unless you send it to them is very unlikely. So you can safely just say create page and it will go up. There's no other way to save as draft or come back later or anything. You have to at least take these first few steps. So I'm gonna hit create page for Corey's career coaching. It'll take a couple seconds in the background depending on your internet speed. And now your page exists, it's there. Like I said, it's very unlikely anyone is going to come across it. So now we're gonna start putting in more of our information. And I recommend you fill out as much of this information as you have for your business, website, phone number, email. That being said, it's all optional. But if you want people to call you, then definitely put your phone number in. Um, address if you're a local business. Um, down here, you can choose your hours. So Corey's Career Coaching, probably an online business. So we would just do no hours available. You could do the always open, but I think no hours available makes more sense for most online businesses. If you have specific hours, though, you click this third option, open at selected hours, and go through and just add an opening and closing time for whatever days you happen to be open. If you have multiple days or multiple times that you're open, like for example, I've worked with restaurants where they have a, they're open in the morning and they close in the afternoon and then they open again for dinner time. You can just hit this plus sign and you can add opening and closing times multiple for the same day. So we're just gonna say no hours available for this page. Next is the button at the bottom. You can't see it on my screen, but you should see it on yours. It's a blue next button, hit that. 
Now we're gonna add a profile picture and a cover photo. So your profile picture is this circle one that's here in the middle. And if you are a personal brand, this should be your face, even if you are shy. People connect with faces. If you're a bigger company, then it's usually gonna be your logo, but make sure it's just your logo and not a logo and a slogan and all of this kind of stuff. Because the majority of the time this shows up, it's gonna be in a little tiny circle like this here. And on a mobile device, it's even smaller. So again, you're looking for something that's potentially easily recognizable to go in that spot. Now I am not Corey, but just to keep us moving, I'm just gonna grab a profile picture of mine and throw it in there. So I click add profile picture, select it on your computer and it will upload it there into the circle. If you don't like it, you can click the delete button and then repeat the process. Next is a cover photo. And this is this big gray square here. It's gonna sit at the top of your page. And so with this, it could be a picture of your product or your building if you're a brick and mortar, or it could just be another picture of you. It could be a custom graphic that you made. So this is my business page and you can see the cover photo at the top is something that I actually made custom in a program called Canva. If you're not familiar with Canva, it makes graphic designers out of any of us. And you can get a link for a free 45 day trial to Canva Pro. They also have a free version, but you can get that link in the description of this video. And to get the proper sizing for that, if you wanna do something custom, I also have a video that is in the description of this video that can help you make sure you get the right size. For this though, I'm just gonna grab a picture that I already have. You can drag it over here to reposition it if it didn't quite line up the way that you wanted. Next option here is to add an action button. And I would strongly encourage you to do this. So every Facebook page has a message button right here, no matter what but you can also add a second action button. So mine says sign up and it's a chance to sign up for my daily social media tips that I have at dailysocialmediatips.com. So that is on my page. So if you click add action button, depending on your business, I'm gonna click try it. And there are all these different ones. You have a book now, you have a start order. If you're, you know, for restaurants, there's a view shop. If you have a store, ticket, send a message call. So think about what is the main thing somebody would want to do or that you would want them to do when they land on your page. And you can set that up in here. So for example, if I said, contact us and I hit next, and it's going to let me put in a link to my contact page on my website it, or wherever you wanted it to go. If I said, call now, it'll have me put in the phone number. So definitely choose an action button for your page. Now at the bottom, I'm gonna click next again. This pops up an option to connect your WhatsApp to your page if you have one and you want it associated with your page. We'll skip that for now. Next option is to invite friends. So if you do this, people will start seeing your page, of course. I would recommend um, doing this if you're ready, but only invite people that will actually like the content that's on your page. What happens sometimes is we come in here and we set up a new page and we click invite friends and we just start inviting like our mom, our friends, our aunts, our uncles, our cousins, nieces, nephews, like everybody, because we want it to look like we have a lot of followers, right? But if you fill the page with people who don't like the content, they're not going to engage with the content. You're actually going to perform a lot worse. So you're better off having 10 people who will actually like the things that your page posts because they could be potential clients or customers, then having a hundred people that are just like, yay, I wanna support you, Corey or Jerry or you know whoever it is. So I'm gonna skip that and go ahead and click next. These next two options are optional. So page notifications on your profile. This is where if you're logged in just as your profile instead of your business page, you'll still see notifications for your business page. I keep this turned on because I like to be aware of those and without having to go and specifically check my page notifications. But if you wanna check your page notifications separately, then toggle that off. And then marketing and promotional emails about your page. If you're brand new to Facebook and you maybe want some good tips and things, I would leave that turned on. They send some interesting stuff. If you don't want any more emails in your life, then you can go ahead and turn that off as well. Now at the bottom, I'm gonna click this blue done button. And at this point you have created your new page. Again, unlikely anyone's going to find it right away. So don't worry too much about that yet. They'll offer you to take a tour of the page, which I've encouraged you to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and just give you my own quick tour because there are a couple of other things you're gonna to wanna to consider and set up. So you can see here, the profile picture shows up there. You've got our cover photo, the name, all of that is ready to go. Two more things I wanna show you that are a little more hidden, but it's important that you see these because Facebook does not really prompt you for this. So from your page over here on the left, you should see settings. So I'm gonna click settings and then it brings up general page settings, the name of your page. So you can change the name of your page there if you needed to. And then your username. I strongly encourage you to set up a username and I'll show you why in just a second. But let's just call this Corey's 
career coaching. If it's available, it will say it's available. So you can see username is available. If it wasn't, it might make some suggestions or you might have to choose something else. So two different pages could have the same name up here, but they cannot have the same username. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now when you see username, you see it says facebook.com slash Corey's career coaching. So now you have an easier way to send people to your business page. So now if somebody types in facebook.com slash Corey's career coaching, it will take them right to your new page. So make sure to grab the username you want right away. And then the second thing to show you is now that you have a business page, if this is your first one, and this is part of what Facebook calls the new pages experience, you can switch back and forth between your page and your profile. So by clicking on my picture up here, you can see this is Corey's career coaching. I can click see profiles, and then you'll see your other pages. And then I'm gonna click my name here. This is my personal profile. And this takes me back to my personal profile so I can engage with my family and friends just like I normally do. If you wanted to go back to the page, click on that, see all profiles, click your page again, and it will take you back to engage as your page. So now your Facebook business page is all set up. If you wanna learn more about how to get more sales and revenue and everything on social media, make sure to sign up for my daily social media tips. You can join thousands of fellow entrepreneurs who receive them every single day for free. And of course, this, the moment they're not helpful, you can unsubscribe at the bottom of any of them and you will never see them again. You are in charge, right? So if you want daily social media tips, go to dailysocialmediatips.com and sign up now. You can also find that link in the description of this video. Was this helpful? Please let me know by leaving a comment or giving this video a like. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.